my first design is um, is like an elephant memory game, except it's going instead of instead of having it like the typical memory where you get a picture of an apple and an apple, like when you find the two apples and they disappear, and then you have to look for Maya and That's Maya. What? That's what I'm doing for Texas. <laughs> okay, and um, instead of it being that way, so exactly identical, you'd find like a cat, and then you'd have to find another animal that or object that rhymes with it. So if you find a cat, and then you find a bat, oh, that's then cool. they disappear. And then, What's like, your problem? My problem is that in first grade, um, uh, the kids have problems with the rhyming words, and especially because there are so many new kids that are learning English for the first time, so they don't really understand the concept of it. Um, yeah, so that's how it would work. And um, you, uh, so it would start on the first screen, and then you'd go to. The, you can choose to either go to the instructions or the levels, and there's three different levels, and obviously you're easy, it's easy and hard is hard. And then um, at the end of it, it will say well done, and it will ask you if you want to change the level. Replay the le the level or like quit. And but you see different levels. The first so, so the first one would be cat and bat. Okay. But then the second one would be more complicated grammar words that I'll get into. No, the second one would be like attack and attach. No. Okay. Attack and black. Oh. Okay. Okay. They do. <laughs> um. Yeah. So. And you said that they're going to show the picture, but it's also going to uh, say the word, yes, right? Yes, so because um, it's a picture. Yeah. Um, my, that's my first app game product thing. Just a quick comment on that. Yeah. I, first, I, I like that idea. I don't think you necessarily need more than one level.